one though, it's good. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed all that. I wanted to film a lot more other stuff, such as the car show as well as the drifting, but unfortunately, my phone was dying. I didn't have a power bank with me. Uh, next, that's definitely going to be on a to add list next time I go out to one of these event types of events. And uh, plus, trying to help out the team and other stuff with Nick and you know uh, doing team stuff, you know. So hopefully, you guys will understand on that end. Other than that, guys, it was a really great, fun day, even despite this current events with the coronavirus. It was a really good turnout in the Vegas area. A lot of cool cars, a lot of fast cars, as you guys saw, and even a lot of great people. If you guys don't know, uh, PFI was out there from Colorado, if you guys don't know PFI. Boosted Boys, uh, Brent wasn't there, but um, if you guys know Sean, Sean and his brother were out there, and you know a couple other people. I can't think of their names at this moment, but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately they weren't having a great day, but at the end of the day, it's like, if you guys know and watch Boosa Boys or follow the PFI channel, you know those guys don't mess around at all, and then you guys hopefully should know, like, they know their stuff, and they can't figure it out, they always do. 
So, and it was awesome. Sean came up to us. He was kind of turned from a meet and greet to like a complete knowledge dump on his end, which is just, to it was totally awesome. My head's still hurting from the amount of knowledge he dropped. I think I know more about D16s now than I ever would have thought. And I'm still trying to like remember all the stuff that he said, because he was just, he, in my, like, lack of better words, it's like he just dropped the nuke of knowledge in, as, you know, as far as that goes. I don't even think any of us in the team even asked him about it. It just kind of came up in the conversation and I kind of wanted to record that but I felt kind of weird if I just busted out my phone and just started recording this I didn't know if it was something that like I mean I know those guys do YouTube as well but I didn't know if it would be kind of a weird thing just me doing it and then you know conversation turns into like oh now this is a video and so on and so forth so and at the end of the conversation we hear it pretty much like oh cool thank you you know like for dropping all that like secret stuff but he said Sean you know Sean was like um they're pretty transparent about all their knowledge and their work is you know they, they love innovation as you guys can tell if you guys follow them and watch it so which is pretty awesome like you don't see that a lot these days you know everybody's kind of like you know with the big egos these days as well as like holding in information which you know on a competitive level kind of makes sense but it's like i mean a competitive level i mean you know, for those guys it's just like anybody else you know they're, they're going to come out no matter what it is it's going to work and, and it's going to run or it's not so but you know Without that extra added negativity or ego, it's always a nice plus in my opinion to see. It's just like when it comes down to like what makes you happy, and what your goal is. You know, it's cool seeing guys like that with that attitude doing what they do with the knowledge they have. So that was definitely like a really cool life experience to have experienced. <laughs> so again, guys, um, I, you know, I'm not gonna stop making videos. Hopefully, I don't lose my job or at least you know lose work through this coronavirus, but I definitely plan on seeing you guys on the next one. You guys be safe out there, be smart, do what you need to do, you know, be a good person. And I know these are like hard troubling times, but you know, it just takes one, one person to do the wrong thing, to create an even bigger problem. It also takes one person to do one great thing to hopefully have everybody else see that to where, you know, it evolves in a, in a positive way. So. That's all I got to say, guys. You know, let's try to bring back the positivity. You know, don't, you know, social media is getting way too crazy with this stuff. The news that, you know, people don't know what they're talking about. Okay, like there's, like, don't listen to the media. I'm not trying to be that guy. I especially didn't want to talk about stuff like this on my channel, but like you said, given times, it's like the CDC, all those guys, like if you guys really want to know how all this stuff is happening, go to like legit sources to people actually know stuff. You guys listen to Joe Rogan, listen to the recent Joe Rogan one that, uh, podcast he just had with that actual uh, person that discusses the coronavirus and the current thing like there's so much wealth of knowledge on there and it's like if you guys watched it and understood that I guarantee you your fear level and your anxiety level will drop down pretty small I hope I mean mine did so there's that guys anyway I'll stop ba I'll stop babbling I'll see you in the next one guys